Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pet video. This week we're gonna make a seat pan. So welcome back. So this week we worked on the last kind of complex thing that we needed uh, to build and that is the seat pan. Uh, the seat pan basically um, is formed out of one big metal plate and on that plate I had in my head that I wanted the hump on the back to be made from um, steel as well or aluminum or something like that, not from plastic. Um, you could also make a hump uh, by upholstering uh, that. So uh, your seat, the, the, the one that makes your seat uh, could also make that from leather or and fill it with foam or whatever. But I really wanted to do that from metal. Now, a uh, metal working um, with plates, I don't know the exact English word of that, um, is a different kind of sport than really working with steel and tubes and building frames and stuff like that. So if you're a plate worker, let's call it that, then that's really something else. And that's something Razelman just can't do and does, doesn't want to do, so that's no problem for me. So I thought, okay, I'm gonna look for a good fender uh, which already has this shape, because if you really look close to humps, um, they all look kind of as a, uh, a part of a fender. So I went to uh, the scrapyard and I dove in all the different kind of uh, fenders they have, and especially, of course, the Yamaha fenders. I was uh, already um, thinking, okay, if I can't really find a fender of a Yamaha, then maybe we should take another brand. Uh, but uh, luckily, I found a Yamaha Maxim fender. Now let's have a look how that worked out. I found this Yamaha XJ700 Maxim rear fender on the junkyard. I was planning to use a fender for the hump on the rear and want to stick with the brand as much as possible. The shape looked perfect. To be honest, it would have been better if I first got this fender and then started making the subframe. You can see that rear flip up, which could have been the end of the tail. On the other hand, we made the shape of the subframe exactly how I like it, so we better adjust the fender to the frame. We discussed every detail at first. Should the hump go over the frame tubes? We need to make a seat pan as well. What can we do with the space under the hump? What about the tail light? Etc. Etc. Best way is just to start with the seat pan. We thought the nicest would be to make rounded edges on the pan. So the seat pan would be a bit wider than the frame. We didn't do that with the scrambler. These are those rounded edges. This is another detail which makes a bike just a little more special. Now to continue with the hump. It took some thinking how to cut the fender precisely at the right spots, since I only had one fender. The height of the hump had to be aligned with the tank and the angle had to be right. Then it was time just to cut it. We reused the rear bended strip to stick over the saddle pan, as if it was a part of the pan. Then we also had to close all the wire holes for the spray painter. The holes were from the wires of where the rear light used to sit. These rings 
and other mounting strips were all spot welded. You can easily drill these out. Be careful not to go too deep and don't use a regular drill but a special spot weld drill. You can see we also removed the other plates in this way. To fill the holes we used some leftover fender and cut it circles of the right size. I explained where I wanted the closed part to be and what angle and that it would be nice if the button would be open so I could use the space of the hump for whatever stuff that could be in there. With some tape we secured the cutting line. Then it was time to weld the hump on its definite place. Really started to look great already. Side note, I even like the old school jump player special lines and color. We also thought about the saddle connector. We also thought about the saddle connector one more time because we needed a place where the pin for this should be mounted before we made the hole. The saddle will be upholstered. Against this rear part there also will be a part of the seat.
Of course, everything will be spray painted. Then it was time to think a little bit about the rear. Here we decided to use the mudguard for the license plate. The only thing is that I will need a plate light there as well and one of my standards is that I don't want to see any wires. So that's something I have to figure out. Furthermore, that tail light. I won't be using this one. The license plate works well with the mudguard. It gives this nice subframe and the hump a little bit more attention. So as you can see, um, that worked out great. Um, so I'm really, really happy again with this thing. And also uh, the seat pan, uh, as I uh, showed you, the, the round edges, that's something that will really work out great because the upholstering will be around those round edges. So the seat will really come out great. Now that's, by the way, the very, very last thing that I will do. Uh, making the seat is just the final part because first I also need the color of the uh, of the bike. I still don't really know what kind of color but I'm really going to the white I think because the white tank really looks great. It's kind of pearly so perhaps I'm gonna use that color uh, but then of course uh, we're gonna redo that. The hump will be the, the same color. Maybe I have to do something with striping but this is something that I'm gonna do on Photoshop. So the next thing, I've ordered loads of stuff. I've ordered risers, I've ordered a steer, I've uh, ordered um, uh, handlebars, I've ordered, um, what else, uh, a rear light, which will be special. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you yet what, but uh, it's gonna be a, a great idea. Um, a, a, a license plate light, I've ordered that. I've ordered a, um, a, the gouge and what I didn't order yet is the um, the the front lights and the holders for that I I'm, I don't need to order it right now why did I order the other parts uh, because um, we ha still have to make a few things oh yeah I also have to I have to remember uh, ignition key um, that's something that I didn't order yet I have to do that so uh, why did I order all those parts? Because uh, now we're going to do the final things and especially the, making that steer will be really important um, for my Photoshop drawing because I'm going to build the whole bike. So I'm going to put in the engine, I'm going to uh, uh, put in the wheels and, 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 and everything will be one part and especially with the handlebars, uh, handlebar on that uh, will give me an idea, okay, what kind of headlight do I want? Because this is something iconic. Um, and uh, where do I have to do my uh, ignition key because then we have to make a hole for that and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I want a total view. And the, the most important thing will be drawing the uh, exhaust because we're gonna hand make that uh, exhaust as well. Um, I'm not gonna reuse the pipes and the bends that I have. We're gonna make it uh, completely um, from uh, the top to bottom as I wanted. I did exactly the same with the scrambler. Uh, I also drew that in Photoshop. Uh, if you, what, well, that's nice to see. If you watched my video that I made, my final video of the scrambler, here's the link. Um, then you can see that, um, that I Photoshopped. Uh, and I, 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 I uh, did an edit that you first see the Photoshop and after that you, you see how it was in uh, in, in, in practice, so uh, the final uh, handmade part. And that's interesting that Rezelman really, uh, that helps Rezelman if I already have a drawing, okay, this is how it should be uh, made. So, um, this was it for this week. Um, now there is a, uh, th this is gonna get exciting because um, the next thing will be finishing in the workshop all the small details that still have to be done. For instance, uh, putting on the risers, uh, that's I think the most important. And the side panels have to be there. And uh, we have to make sure that that saddle pa seat pan uh, clicks in the frame. So those are the uh, last details that need to be done there. Then the bikes come back. Then I'll um, put the bike together. I'll think about the foot packs. I'll think about the front light. I'll think about uh, coloring. And I'll make uh, a Photoshop uh, for, the, for, the, for the pipes. 
and and after that it can go back to the workshop so we can make uh, uh, as a total package including the the engine and then we're gonna the, see how we're gonna make those foot back uh, foot packs uh, foot rests and uh, the rear brake lines and stuff like that so I don't really know what will be next for next week. I hope I can visit the workshop again to do all these uh, things together because that really works uh, the fastest and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the easiest. And um, so I don't know what will be the next uh, video. In any case, please subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up and what a, a small tip put that um, notification uh, on. If you have the notification on, then you know when I'm uploading a new video and you'll have receive it in your uh, YouTube feed. So um, that's a good one. Put on that notification button and then you will receive um, uh, the videos that I make every week. Subscribe here and look at my other videos here. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.